Now we are going to understand shunt positively biased clipper. There are two types of clipper shunt positively biased positive clipper and shunt positively biased negative clipper. So first of all we will go for shunt positively biased positive clipper. So first let us have circuit for that. So this is the circuit of shunt positively biased positive clipper. Now here we are going to change the voltage from 12 volt to 3 volts because in our previous video we have used that thing and instead of V2 we will label it as VDC. So now let us run it. Stop it. Bring it to front. Reverse it. Bring it to front. This is the voltage of all the sources. The red one is AC source and the blue one is DC source and this one is the output voltage. Now to understand the operation of shunt positively biased positive clipper, we can divide this full operation into three modes. Mode number one, mode number two and mode number three. So the first of all, let's discuss the mode number one. In this mode, the supply voltage is less than the DC voltage. So we can write Vs is less than Vdc. This is the mode number one. When the supply voltage is less than Vdc but the polarity is like this. So this one is the positive terminal and this one is the negative terminal. But this positive terminal, the magnitude of this positive terminal is less than this positive because this terminal is at 3 volt and this terminal uh, let's say for example it is at 0 0.5 volt though this supply voltage is in positive half cycle but the effect on this diode d1 is like this this terminal is at negative potential with respect to this terminal anode is at lesser potential than the cathode and when this is the case this diode will be in reverse bias condition when the diode is in reverse bias condition what will happen whatever supply voltage we are getting that will be reflected in output why it is like this let me explain that thing let me remove this things and now let's see when this diode is open switch this entire lag is disconnected from the circuit and that is why all the supply voltage is directly reflected to output and that is why you can see in mode number one the output is following this supply voltage waveform right now let's discuss mode number 2. In mode number 2, the supply voltage is greater than VDC. And when that is the case, let's say uh, this terminal is positive, this one is negative and this terminal is at 4 volt, right? And this terminal, it is DC, so this is constant, it is at 3 volt. So in this case, anode is at 4 volt cathode is at 3 volt so this diode is in forward bias condition because anode is on higher potential than the cathode and that is why the current will flow and diode will behave as close switch and when this diode behaves as close switch let me remove all these things and explain that thing the circuit looks like this So the voltage drop across these two terminal is 0 0.7 volts and we are having 3 volts. So total voltage we are getting across these two terminal is around 3.7 volts. And that is why if you measure voltage at this point, let me show that voltage to you. Bring this line and see at that point you are having 3.586 volts. So it's almost 3.6 volts, right? And I have told you it is 3.7 volts. So during entire mode number two, 
the output voltage will be clipped at 3.7 volts practically 3.6 volts now let's discuss mode number 3 mode number 3 again supply voltage is less than the dc voltage this mode number 3 is similar to mode number 1 practically there are only two modes where supply voltage is less than dc volt and when the supply voltage is greater than dc volt but i have taken this mode number 3 because if we consider this mode number 3 the entire first cycle will be covered so if we discuss about mode number 3 it behaves as same as mode number 1 and that is why we are getting full cycle of mode number 3 full cycle of supply in output in mode number 3 so this is how this shunt positively biased positive clipper works if you have any doubt in this you can directly ask me in comment section below or else you know what to make this type of video it requires lot of hard work and to support my hard work you can at least give me a like and if you want to learn similar things then you can subscribe to this channel because your one likes motivates me a lot now again get back to the topic and now we are going to discuss shent positively biased negative clipper so we will remove all these things and let's prepare the circuit the circuit is ready and now we are going to run the circuit first of all we'll open both the oscilloscopes and now let's run stop it so this is the output of shunt positively biased negative clipper so to understand the operation again we'll do the same thing we'll divide entire operation into three modes mode number one mode number two and mode number three so let's discuss mode number one over here when the supply voltage is less than the dc voltage and when this is the case let's understand this thing in the circuit this terminal will be positive and this will be negative the anode of this diode will be continuously connected to 3 volt because we are having supply voltage dc supply voltage of 3 volts now on the anode side let's say we are having 0.5 volts so this terminal is at 0.5 volts and this terminal is at 3 volts so what do you think tell me your opinion that whether this diode will be in forward bias condition or in reverse bias condition you have only two options choose wisely and write the answer in comment section below so now let me tell you that this diode will be in forward bias condition and when this diode is in forward bias condition what will be the condition this diode behave as a close switch so the simplified circuit of this entire lag looks like this the voltage drop across this diode will be 0.7 volts and over here we are providing 3 volts so the total voltage we are going to get over here that is not 3.7 volt in our previous case we have seen that we will get 3.7 volt but not in this case why we are not getting 3.7 volt in this case let me explain that thing because in this case whatever supply voltage we are having at these two terminals that will be provided by this dc source and when this dc source is providing that voltage current will flow in this cycle and when the current flows in this manner if we apply kvl then according to that kvl we should subtract this 0.7 volt from this 3 volt and if we subtract that thing then we will get almost uh, 2.3 volts across these two terminals so now let's uh, verify that we are getting 2.3 volts or not let's bring this over here and you can see it's 2.494 volts so it's almost uh, we can call it as 2.5 volts so instead of 2.3 we are getting practically we are getting 2.5 volts and theoretically we are getting 2.3 volts
So this is how this circuit functions in mode number one. Now let's understand mode number two and for that let's remove all these things. So in mode number two, the supply voltage is greater than DC voltage. And when this is the case, this terminal is plus, this terminal is minus. Over here we are having, uh, let's say, 5 volts and over here we are having 3 volts. So what do you think? This diode will be in forward bias condition or in reverse bias condition. When anode is at 3 volt and cathode is at 5 volt, this diode will be in which condition? Write the answer in comment section below. So the diode will be in reverse bias condition and when it is in reverse bias condition it behaves as open switch. So this is how this entire lags look like. So this DC source will be disconnected from the circuit and whatever supply voltage we are having will get it in output. And that is why in entire mode number 2 will have output voltage the same as supply voltage. The waveform will follow the same pattern but the magnitude will be little less than the supply voltage because this R1 resistance is also connected in series with the R2. So some of the voltage will be dropped across this R1 resistance. Let me show you what is the difference in the output voltage. At this peak, the supply voltage is 7 volts and at this peak, the output voltage is 5.8 volt. So almost a difference of 1 or 1.2 volt we can see in output. So this is how shunt positively biased negative clipper works.